All right, welcome back everybody. This is round two of indoor physical education. Now yesterday, um, I was thinking about it after we made the video and uh, a lot of people watching the video were probably wondering why we had this bad guy come in and I didn't do a very good job of explaining that. But, you know, we're all brought up thinking healthy body equals healthy mind, right? But that's not just how it works. It works both ways. You need a healthy mind in order to have a healthy body. So we believe that understanding social expectations is extremely important in physical education. Knowing what to do if you get angry, knowing why you got angry, and knowing an appropriate way to fix that. Learning how to include others in your games. Um, learning how to play by yourself effectively and managing the thought process and the emotions that go along with that. So we've created and we've borrowed some of these bad guys and what they do is they help us understand why we feel certain ways and how we can manage those in, in appropriate ways so that we can continue having fun. So today, we have our new bad guy. Let's see who he is. Let's welcome Worry Wall. Now, Worry Wall is our new bad guy today. So if we look at Worry Wall, we could probably try to, uh, we could probably try to figure out what some of the things Worry Wall is feeling. Let's take a look at him. Worry Wall's got his hands on his face, his lip is up and quivering, his eyes look like he's distressed or extremely concerned about something. Now, what Worry Wall does is when Worry Wall gets in your head, Worry Wall makes you worry about things that maybe are out of your control. Maybe these are things that you can't do anything about. See, one thing to keep in mind is there's things we can control and there's things that we can't control. The things that we can't control, there's no use worrying about those things because there's nothing we can do about them. But the things we can control are ourselves, how we feel, whether we're happy, angry, mad, sad, whether we have energy, whether we don't have energy, these things are things that we can control throughout our own actions. So if you feel yourself worrying about the situations out there in the world right now, just remember those are out of your control. What is in your control is how you react to them. And today we're going to learn another game that will hopefully let you have a little bit of fun while things are going on outside that we can't control. Mama. So, worry well, we'll see you later. And we are going to start with our very first game. Now, our first game today is going to be a field day game that we've learned before. This game is called Battle Dice. And what we've done is we've adjusted it a little bit so that we can play it indoors. Now my son here is going to help me out. We're going to show you how to play this game alone, and we are also going to show you how to play this game with friends. So first, we're going to do the alone version. All right, what we're going to do is, first thing you need to do is you need to find a game that uses dice. Everybody has a game in their house that uses dice. So go ahead, dig out some dice. Don't forget to put them back. Now, next thing is I use a little container to roll them so those dice don't go rolling under the couch or somewhere where I can't find them. And I'm going to put that on the floor. Now, quickly, what I've created is I have created a quick list. I'm going to get a quick zoom in on that of some different exercises that you can do. If I roll a one, it's going to be jumping jacks. A two would be push-ups. A three would be sit-ups. A four would be a plank. A five would be crab-ups. And a six would be leg lifts. I'm going to quickly show you what each one of these exercises looks like. And if you forget these numbers, you can always go back in the video and find them. All right, Finn, let's get started. Number one, jumping jacks. Let's show everybody how to do a jumping jack. What we're going to do is we're going to start with our feet together, our hands down by our sides, and we're going to explode up and then explode back down, and that would be one. Let's go ahead and do five. Ready? One, two, three, four, and five. Now, don't do these jumping jacks too loud or the neighbors downstairs are not going to be happy. Next would be push-ups. When we do a push-up correctly, we're going to lay down flat on the floor. We're going to put our hands under our shoulders. We're going to get down on our toes, and we are going to push our bodies all the way up, and then we're going to let our bodies go all the way down. If you have trouble doing these, you can put them on your knees, lift up on your knees here. You do not want to be a full table. This is nothing. Here, you're actually building some muscle right here. So go ahead and do those push-ups. Next exercise is if you roll a three, and it's going to be a sit-up. 
What I want to see where the sit up is, is I want to see you on your back. Legs crossed in the air. Hands down, not behind the head. Crunch up, hold, and down. Up, hold, and down. Up, hold, and down. Good. Next exercise. If we roll a, a five, it is going to be crab ups. It is going to be crab ups. Now, when we do crab ups, what we're going to be looking at is you're going to put your feet on the floor, you're going to put your hands on the floor, and you're going to lift your bottom up, and then you're going to bend your elbows all the way down to your bottom touches. Make sure you bend those elbows. Excellent. And then our last exercise is going to be leg lifts. Again, we're going to be laying on the floor, get some space. Take your hands, put them down on the side, put them down on the side, lift your legs up into the air, and back down. Up into the air, and back down. All right, so let's watch Finn play this game. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our dice box. Finn's gonna grab a die. We're gonna put it down. We're gonna get the camera to zoom in on this dice box right here. He's gonna roll the dice in. He got a four. So we look at the card, and it says that he needs to do planks. A four for planks. So Finn's going to get down. He's going to put his elbows on the floor. He's going to hold his body up, and he's going to count to five. And then back down. Now he's going to roll another guy and see what his next exercise is. One. It looks like Finn has jumping jacks. So now he's going to do his five jumping jacks. Now, excellent. Now you can keep playing this game as long as you want. I suggest playing this game for at least 15 minutes and that way you can make sure that you get a uh, good exercise for your body. Now, show you a little more advanced way to play this game. If you have more than one person, what you need to do is you can get two dice or even three dice. And what we're going to do is we're going to play a game called evens or odds. Now, using our same exercise list, we are going to each call out an exercise and whether or not we want an even or an odd. Finn is going to have the green dice. I'm going to have the orange dice. I'm going to challenge Finn to five jumping jacks and I'm going to say evens. Um, crab up. Um, odd. So I'm evens, he's odds. We're going to roll our dice and we're going to use addition. We are going to add the two numbers together. If it's evens, like I picked, Finn will have to do the exercise. If it's odds, I will have to do the exercise. So remember, here we go for our roll. Get a close up on the roll. So we have a four and a two. Four plus two equals what, Finn? Six. Is that even or odd? Uh, even. It is even, correct. So that means Finn is gonna have to do the five jumping jacks. Go ahead, Finn. One, two, three, four, five. Now, if you want to play a more advanced version of this game, let's take addition out and add multiplication. So now we're going to roll again. Let's say I'm going to be even planks. You could be... Um, I'm going to be odd push-ups. All right, so we're going to roll again, but this time we're going to use multiplication to decide. Four times two. Eight. Eight. Is that even or odd? Even. even again. So now Finn will have to do the planks again. <laughs> Go ahead. I'll count for you. He gets down on his elbows. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Excellent. Boys and girls, parents, I hope that you enjoy this game. This is a great game. It's a game that we play a version of in field day. Um, 
I hope that you guys are enjoying yourselves. Sorry about all the rain. Hopefully these games are uh, keeping everybody a little occupied, getting some energy out. See you now. Uh, see you on Monday.